Show stop. What are those glasses? I can't see. I've got to be there. Today is the day I've become. Sorry. Let me be real. Today is the day I've become an amateur boxer. Got my yogurt, cereal, coconut yogurt. Slightly expired. The mac and cheese inside my burrito, slightly expired. We're not talking about that. I don't really care, man. Let me just handle it. Current 6 a.m. Got no sleep like a dumbass. Um, <clears throat> 10 a.m. to 2, which is a four hour training session. It's free, but I have to pay like 27 pounds for me becoming an amateur boxer. Woo! Quite excited for it, I have to say. Um, Amazing, bro. Bro, well, red meat actually is different. I slept that I slept and I woke up at like two p.m. yesterday. I've been awake for totally sixteen hours. By the time I'm done with the train session, I'll be awake for twenty-four hours. No. Yes. That's eight hours. Six to ten. Four. 10, 10 a.m. I start training. 10 to 2, 4. 16 plus 4 plus 4, 24 hours. We have 24 hours. Probably be extremely tired by then. I'm not taking that. I pretty much. No. Look at my cat. He's on time. It's kind of annoying that the thought still beckons to me, like, you know what I'm doing with my life. Am I really doing the right thing? I wasted my life. I get public damage from this. Will I even be great? A lot of thoughts will rush through my mind. I think a bit. Um, it's for sure interesting. I don't really need to show that, bro. Not that because it's expired. It's like expired. No, no, no. It's not suiting my palate at the moment. I want meat. Pause. That, bro, that beef hit different, man. That beef hit so different. I know, I have to admit, like, the truth, like, because of boxing, I've become a lot more simple minded. And uh, although goal orientated, which I'm very, very happy to be. I feel like my thoughts just rush through my brain slower. And the chance, that's because I've been punched in the head a few times. But also because I've overcome adversity many times as well. In the sense that I feel very, very, very scared and fearful just before sparring. I feel very, very, how do I say this? Anxious. As if it's like I'm, I'm walking on like thin ice type shit before sparring, and this really puts me in a bad spot because you know, <laughs> if you think about it, it's sparring, right? It's not a fight. You shouldn't think that way, but a lot, but boxing sparring can often be a fight. 
they often turn into a fight. And the more you spar within a week, the more damage you can accumulate. A lot of this damage you can get comes from sparring and um, thing in boxing at least comes from sparring. A lot of guys just don't know how to pull their punches properly, which leads to damage on both parties involved. MMA guys actually go in comparison really really light. MMA guys weirdly they have less deaths but more injuries. Boxing less injuries, still injuries but less injuries, more deaths, and like as a boxer, amateur boxer, as an amateur boxer, like you can't help but think about it. you can't help but like think about the repercussions even though this is the path that you chose I'll go through my mind in a moment oh I'll go through my mind in a moment I have this pose, but I'm gonna be down with my my mind is vacant. Like, you know how monks talk about inner peace and emptying the mind. My mind is empty. I am worryingly completely present in the moment. This is where I should be thinking, overthinking, and my previous self would overthink and think. But maybe because of meditation and fighting, right? and in a sense, fighting is meditation because you're completely zoned in in the in the moment. Like enjoying sparring. And like a thought brushed through my brain, but as soon as the thought came, it went. <laughs> to say, say the least, like I literally had a thought of like, do I have enough food to to come home to and eat? And then like as soon as the thought came, it like it snapped and it went, and the thought never like never really went through my mind again. And I thought about it after the spa, because fighting is meditation. Because fighting really puts you in the zone, like it really puts you in the moment. Similar to meditation. <clears throat> Quite interesting. Maybe because I've gone through it a good amount of times now, I'm just like, yes, yeah, whatever. I've just felt the emotion of fear, anxiety, trepidation, desperation, you know, bartering, fawning, you know, you know the um Fight or flight response. It's also a third response, fawning, where you you know you suck up to your bully, which is what I used to do as well. I used to be like, oh yeah, you're my friend now. You're actually my bully, but you're my friend. Like pussy. I thought that's real pussy shit, by the way. Like it's like it's really cowardice. It's if it, if anything, it's um your survival mechanism as rawest. I've how do I say this? I'm shaking my leg. I have defied this natural survival mechanism countless times within sparring. So my ability to overthink, my ability to really like flow with ideas per se, kind of just like deteriorated a bit. But fuck it. Come to the sport. It's a big, it's a big worry of mine for sure. Right? Yeah. Come to the kind of territory. Um. That was. Damn, this spot's pretty visible. Need to get a good haircut. I've got the ball cut at the moment. The natural ball cut. Um, yeah. It's weird because now I'm thinking to myself, like, what am I really doing this for? Amateur, international champion, world champion, fight money, fighting, glory, status. What am I doing this for? Come on, Jimmy, think. What are you doing this for? It's for sure a harrowing topic. Quite perplexing. I ask the majority of the guys that box, very good boxers by the way, within my gym, elite level amateurs, I ask them, so what's your reason for going into boxing? Money. Freedom. 
States. Well, fair enough, like, sure. I wish you well. But, um... I've already proved to myself that I'm not the same individual as I was before. I'm not the same pussy that I was before. I'm not the same cow that I was before. The same nerd. You know? That's not me anymore. I've already proved that long ago. But. It just kind of itches in my heart, as if I need to prove for something more, I need, as if I need to have more. And I think it's a very, very normal feeling to have within young men, and it's a very normal thing to have as a fighter. Because when you're in the fighting game, it's always, can you beat this person, can you beat this person, can you beat this person? There is no like, sentimental, philosophical type of thing, where it's like, well, are you happy with your record, are you happy with your career? Are you happy you truly fulfill your potential? Nothing, nothing like that. That's like more generalized self-improvement YouTube type of thing. In fighting is, you beat up this person. Okay, you beat up this person and you're winning. And you're on an undefeated winning streak. World champion. Double world champion. Triple world champion. Or a linear undefeated. Uh, <coughs> undisputed world champion. Okay. But can you beat this guy? But can you beat this guy? Floyd Mayweather, Sugar Robinson, Mike Tyson, pound for pound. No, anyway, there's always something, bro. Always another height to chase. And like I said before previously, the goalpost keeps moving. With anything that you choose to do in life, the goalpost keeps moving. The target keeps moving. Your goals change. Your immediate tasks change. Maybe your grandiose goal, you achieve it, you zoom past it. <laughs> then it changes. Then it's more. Then it's records. Then it's legacy. Then it's keep it brother thing. The undefeated record. Then it's this, then it's that, then it's this. Like, come on, man. Come on. What's going on now? I'm boxing in three hours. Now meditate for try for an hour. I want to nap, but I'm gonna miss training if I do. Like a dumbass. So it's just bad for me to just not miss training, just not nap in general. It's um for not taking Apologize for the long video. Catch you guys in the next one. Let me know that made up a piece. There is no message. I'm just thinking about life.